Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. And friend of the channel, Kelly Castle, has a great Thunderbird for us. Kelly, what year make and model is this one? This is a 1968 Ford Thunderbird two-door Landau. Let's take a look at our featured attraction. Now, when have you had this one since? I bought it in 2017, so uh, about seven years. Now, I bought it from a man in Wickenburg. You've become a Thunderbird uh, restorer. Yes. And you have several of them. It's very difficult to find a 68, 67, or 69, and you have all of them that we're going to be sharing on the channel. So not only look at this one, but make sure you check out all the other great cars too. Just want to show, because it's right there in the front, that great bumper and how they prepared that. How long, and you said you had this one since what, 2017? Yes. So you had one in high school though, if I recall. Yes. And that car was the one that kind of spurred all this, uh, all of this on to do that. Let's pop the hood, shall we? Sure. This one was rebuilt. Oh, wow. And uh, I rebuilt it about five years ago. Engine transmission, differential, drive shaft, suspension. So basically it's like a, it's all mechanically sound. AC was re uh-huh <laughs> that's a bird that chirps <laughs> yeah. so I could take this one anywhere pretty much yeah pretty and we'll have to start it and show how the headlights work after we start it now how many do you see when you're out there just driving around the car see, show I haven't seen any to be honest with you I don't see them in Arizona they're not out <clears throat> Once in a while, I'll spot one, but they're pretty rare. Pretty rare indeed. All right, why don't we fire this one? Okay. We got an additional fan just because. <laughs> you did a good job. That is super quiet. Wow. Is it difficult to get in there with, with how tight that is? Not really. Okay, good. It's not everything pretty acceptable. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to close the hood if you don't mind. Right. Okay, thank you. Let's show those hideaway headlights. Hey, we did a little winking at you. All right, we'll close those. Vacuum operated, which is why they go in different sequence. Vacuum operated, correct? Yes. And yeah. This one has a little. Help. All right, we'll let you close that. It needs a little help. Needs <laughs> a little help. By the way, I loved the hood. It's got like a little almost baby hood scoop to it. I'm gonna have you jump in it. Let's. Uh, let me let it listen to it idle. Go ahead, give it a rev. Very quiet for the big bird. Can we turn on the uh, tail lights for a second? There's the sequential turn signal. And the other side as well. And we'll just take it, not turn signal, just let it just show the overall tail lights. Beautiful. And we'll turn it around. We turn it around. And you gotta love the tail lights on this car. They did it just right by blackening around it to give it that look. We have that indentation on the trunk. And if you look at this, you'll see that it pops up like so. As we come right here, we'll take a moment to show our trunk and treats. So we've got some trunk and treats for you. And this, you can see it's a deep trunk. As you can see, there you have your jack and stowage information. You have that badge there, a nice light. So they start off with the Lincoln Thunderbird comparison in 68. Tell me who this young lady is here. That is Lynn Gleason. She's a friend of my mother's. Uh, we knew when we were young, uh, and she was always dressed up in these 60s clothes. She had a 65 or 66 Galaxy with a phone in it, and we just thought she was really cool. So, so she was your inspiration for these cars. Yes, yes, she was. That is great. They got the wet Thunderbird there, and you'll see some of these pictures, which is really interesting when we open up the brochure. As an example, you'll see that picture again. 
and you can see how that folds out kind of read that right there so the 68 Thunderbird had its own brochure really nice so it's got this vinyl top like feel right off the bat and then you've got this marbleized look on the inside that's the dash that's what the dash looks like oh the dash uh, the, the wood grain. got it and then this parchment paper and then there's your wet bird again that we saw in the picture there new from Thunderbird and then we've got that girl's picture with the racing the nice hard top look there at the racetrack three new Thunderbirds so that you can fly the tilt wheel Ford or Thunderbird where better ideas happen first there's that turned dash we were talking about that marbleized look there's our plane with the Thunderbird Mr. Johnson your plane has arrived nicely done there showing it looks like the rear defroster floor doors open to a classic Thunderbird excellence showing how many people can fit in your Thunderbird comforts and fit six and then we get to the 60s marketing why would they take a photograph somewhat at night by the car Hey kids, get by the car. We're just gonna take a picture and we can hardly see you. I don't get it. Speaking of I don't get it, we're in the middle of a soccer game and let's drive the Thunderbird into the middle of the game. <laughs> I get this, I guess that's how you stop your game. <laughs> you say, okay guys, I'm bringing the Thunderbird in. Time to stop. Thanks, Mom. <laughs> you'll never see it. Excuse me, Miffy, can you sit down and just look at the floor mats? I'd like to take a picture of you across my seats. <laughs> For marketing excellence back in the 60s. And all the luggage you can tow in it, showing your hideaways. We can do that as well. Every bird includes these better ideas. We'll give you a moment to kind of look at those better ideas. And then, uh, I don't know, the stalking picture here. <laughs> Ladies, <laughs> jump in. Not sure what's happening there. Maybe uh, the valet. Let's, let's try to straighten our act up a little bit. And then a starry night, you think of your Thunderbird. Just like so. Pick your bird and stir up some thunder of your own. <laughs> I don't, I'll just leave that comment alone right there. And we're back to the end of the brochure and the end of the trunk and treats. And we're back. So as we come over to the side, a lot of features here. In 68, they made you put those safety marker lights on. Kelly, what is it about the shape of this car that you really like? I like it. It's considered a midsize in the 60s, but it's smaller than a Lincoln and it's larger than a Cougar or Mustang. So it's got plenty of room inside. It's very comfortable to get in and out of um, the handling, but it is a 19 foot long car. So it's a large car. Even how the, show how the bumper, see how the bumper just blends in there? And then the nose is so flat. You've got that real styling to the marker light there. This great hubcap there. Your power window and the trim around the window, as you can see, very classy. Followed by the gator light top, the vinyl top with this piece here with a Thunderbird in the beginning of that. There's no question that they want you to know you're driving a Thunderbird. Very good. And your gas right there. All right, so may I open it? Sure. Thank you. As we open it, we'll come right to the door here. We'll start right there. I'll actually do that. So it'll feature that. And we'll come and show since the sun is right there. Now this is his daily driver. So we don't expect it to be perfect, but you've got your Thunderbird there and this great console here with the, it's really a bench seat with that nice bracket in the center. And one thing that you'll love about this seat, check out the curvature 
to the love lounge. <laughs> that is great. That is really something else. I don't know any other car, maybe unless it's like a Rolls Royce back in the 30s or something where they have you in an encapsulated cabin that has something with a back seat like that. And there you've got your rear heat, etc. Your AM FM radio. And even on your vents, you can see a Thunderbird. And if that wasn't enough, on your glove box, we have one there too. Here, now tell me about this with your name on it. Okay, well this, these name plates came with the cars when you bought them if you wanted it. And this was the original owner, uh, Clake C. Blakemore. Yeah. Uh, Clark, I'm sorry, Clark C. Blakemore. And um, I found these NOS ones that were blank, and so I had my name engraved on several of my cars. So my cars <laughs> have my own personalized nameplate. <laughs> super cool. Well, that said, I think we should take it for a ride. All right. Kelly good. and I are now in the Goldbird. What year we have here today? This is a 1968, and this one is named Goldilocks. Goldilocks. <laughs> You're in Goldilocks. Nice. This is a daily driver. <laughs> so this is, is this your favorite because it's the daily or no? No, it's just, you know, the body's not perfect. It's not bad, but it's just, it's been so dependable and I've rebuilt everything from the engine to the differential, the drive shaft, everything's been redone and I pretty much can trust it to take it anywhere. And if it gets a ding or a down, I'm not as concerned. And, uh, so it's reliable. It's a reliable car. It's and, your reliable, uh, it's yeah. your reliable T-Bird. Yes. Hopefully we don't break down on the way over. <laughs> <laughs> that would be embarrassing, right? He's a mechanic, and it broke down. Yes. Yeah, that would be go. that would be yes. well, that'd be hysterical. I mean, that'd be it a good theater be, right yeah. there. Yes. So, you started as a high schooler where you got your first Thunderbird, and when you saw this one, Goldilocks. I mean, uh, where did you find that? Well, I had already bought the white one, and I had bought a black four door, which I don't have anymore. But I found this one up in Wickenburg, and a gentleman had it who was in his late eighties, I think, and he. Uh, he was selling it, and uh, it was raining that night. I went and looked at it, and I really liked it, even though it needed things. And uh, but uh, I got it, I, I bought it, and drove it home, and uh, just started working on it, and changing things out. And uh, interesting note: it used to have gold seats oh, really? and brown carpeting. And when I went to restore them, they can't get gold material for the seats anymore, and they can't get brown carpet, but they can get gold carpeting <laughs> and brown. So I said, let's just flip the colors. So we did, and it looks fine. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. I just want to show people what it looks like where we're, we're traveling. Yes, yeah. I do this drive many times through the week. I just take a tour around the mountain with my cars so they get driven. Yeah. And that, this is my little go around the mountain drive. Yeah, this is great. That is great. What do pe what's the reaction when people see them? You know, it, it varies. Some people are really, you know, I see their mouths drop. Some guys are like, oh my gosh, I haven't seen one of those forever. And then other people don't even notice them. They don't know what they are. Well, those are so. those are called non-car people. Yes, they're non-car yeah, people. Yeah, they, they don't have the passion, but the passion people. The passion people get it, and, and they they think it's a Cougar sometimes. Oh, they, okay. They think it's, uh, you know, another type of car. They're not quite sure what it is. Yeah. Um, I they had a newscaster pull me over one time because he just saw the the full length tail lights and he couldn't. He says I, he says I saw those full length tail lights and I I knew exactly what it was. So sometimes they see a feature on the car, the the Landau bars on the vinyl roof. Now, yeah, that you it, you don't see those tail lights at all, and the only thing that's even close is Dodge has got kind of a full tail yes, light on yes, it. Yes, they kind but, of mimic that. But this is this is really just the treat and I'll just show people a little more of what we're driving on a perfect day with our perfect bird the gold eagle or goldilocks goldilocks <laughs> I know I know who it is I know who it is just put my own little spin on it right, right. gold the gold eagle I like the that gold, too. yeah that ain't bad right the gold eagle good stuff let me just show that as we go across this intersection yeah the McDowell mountains yeah that's beautiful that's a great way to sign out. Guys, we're gonna keep going for a ride. Thanks so much for being on My Car Story, always a treat. Thank you. Thank you.